peace and blessings and a whole lot of love. Thank you for tuning in with Goddess Hadea. I'm working with the Moonology cards. I'm still practicing. I don't do readings on anyone. I just share, you know, I just pick a deck and then draw a card for the day. And, you know, ask my viewers, whoever watches, to, um, ask, you know, focus on the question they want to answer to. And then use those cards as guidance. So, we're going to do a three card, which is the past, present, and future. Focus on your question. Uh, closer. So, the first card is, what do you need to release? What do you need to release? So, we're going to go to the book. We're gonna go to the book, the wane, the waning moon, the waning moon, the waning moon. I don't like the way we gotta find these cards. It's, I said the waning moon, right? Yes, page one hundred, one hundred, one hundred. What do you need to release? I know I need to release some things. How about you? So let's see. The waning moon points to what's falling away. Life goes in cycles, and sometimes we need downtime or to let go. No matter when in the moon cycle you pull this card, it's a sign that a situation had peaked for better or worse. And it's time for you to go easier. It's the order and winner of the cycle. So what do you need to release? Ask yourself that question. Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking me about. This card can be very positive, but it can still be gently suggesting that you let something go and stop trying so hard. Hatun to the moon. It's safe to let go and move on. Additional meaning for the card. Move forward with as little resistance as possible. This is not the time to start new projects. Releasing emotional baggage is recommended now. Say sorry to someone. Do energetic work such as meditation or yoga. Soon you will see what lies ahead. The teaching at the time of the waning moon, take a moment to look up in the skies every night. You will see the moon growing smaller and smaller as she moves from full to new again. It's the time when things are falling away. It's certainly not the time to cling on to anyone or anything. Drawing this card suggests your situation is in autumn and winter phase. So hunker down and start the regeneration process. Card number two. Card number two, you're very close to achieving your goal. And that's in the gibbous moon. The gibbous moon. What is the gibbous moon? As soon as I find the page for the gibbous moon, which is on page 30 in this book. 30, 30, 30. Let's go. You're very close to achieving your goal, the gibbous moon. The word gibbous means bulging. What a descriptive word, right? Descriptive word, right? And pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is budging with possibilities and coming to a peak. But this isn't an ending card with a neat yes or no answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may be yet required before you get what you want. Though you're certainly on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring for you, however... There is also a sense that the situation is a bit tense. So, don't push too hard. One force move and the whole thing could blow. That's not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know there's a full a fuse attached to this situation. So, be careful if you choose to light it. I got a heater in front of me and I got the thing on too high. I'm going to be burning my door on legs. Let me cut it down. Cut it down. Cut it down. Attuned to the moon, I know that I am on the right track. Additional meanings for this card. Now is a good time to review your plans. Keep the momentum going as you move towards your dreams. Stay focused. It's good. It's a good start to start. It's a good time to start a new project. You need to get back in good health habits. The teaching the gibbous moon comes in at the very end of the new, new lunar cycle, just before the full moon. She looks like she's bulging because the almost a full because she's almost a full moon, so she's nearly fully rounded. It's the accumulation of the waxing moon and a substance to be rather intense period of the month. 
No matter when you pull this card, it suggests a very right time and a very right situation. And the third card, which is the future. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. And that is on page 58 in the book. And I'm reading from... Luck is on your side. Whatever is coming your way, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon and Sagittarius can make the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even wilding to take a few risks. But be careful you don't bet the farm on something here as the wheel of fortune is still spinning. This card is about exploring life metaphysically, metaphorically by exchanging big ideas of others or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a, trip, a trip away is coming up if that's something you're working to achieve. But the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift, even if that simple means widen your world view. Attune to the moon. Count your blessings. Literally write them down or say them out loud. Additional meanings for this card, you need to laugh more. This is a wonderful time to start a course of studying or teaching. Don't be narrow-minded. Start a week of gratitude practice, example, via Facebook, a journal, or blog. The teaching sanctuary is the sign of fun travel exploration, exploration and a great cosmic quest. It's the sign of big ideas. Its energy is expansive, unbeat, lucky, and divine. The new moon in Sagittarius excludes as, as, as all this, as does this card whenever you draw it. Nothing is set in stone with Sagittarius, and an optimistic energy could attract all manner of good things if you tap into the energy by expecting it. The past, which you need to release. The present, you're very close to achieving your goals, so keep on working on it. And luck is, uh, is on your side. Have faith and believe in yourself. God is how dear. All this is from the Moonology card deck created by Yasmin Bolin.